Uh, France is banning Muslim students from wearing the abaya in state-run schools. The full-length robe, often worn by Muslim women, has caused much debate on whether it should be allowed in French schools. The education minister now says that new guidelines will be issued before classes resume next week. Public schools must, at any cost, perhaps more than any other institution, be protected from religious indoctrination or from the refusal of our most important common rules. Uh, let's take this on. We can speak now to Lubna Ragig, who's uh, national president of the EMF Muslim Students of France, uh, joins us from Roubaix in France. Lubna, welcome to Al Jazeera. Good to have you with us. Uh, this is all causing huge consternation, isn't it? But the bottom line is the Abaya is not actually an item of religious clothing. Uh, hello, thank you for inviting me. Uh, that's true. Uh, Abaya is known to not be. Uh, a religious garment. It's actually a cultural one. Anyone who does an internet research can see that. Uh, although the government don't seem to really care about this information uh, and still ban it. Which is interesting because what we see is that um, alongside Afghanistan and Iran, France is the only, are the only country that legislate on the clothing that women can and what cannot wear. But what, which women are they uh, legiferating on? It's Muslim women, it's mus women from immigration. And this shows how this is like inher inherently racist. Because when you decide that a dress, a simple dress, an HM dress, this actually was uh, given in multiple reports, uh, HM dress are actually seen as problematic, but which, which girl who are wearing them are seen as, as problematic? The one who are, uh, for example, from an Arabic background, the one who are black, but never would they stop uh, a white girl, for example, wearing this. So uh, right. it's quite an. So, so what do you say when, the, when you hear the, the education minister saying that the religion of school pupils should not be identifiable from what they're wearing? You know, this is actually, it actually shows what I just said because. You know, there was like a testimony showing that um, a headmaster said, you don't need to see if it, to know what the abaya is, just look at the students and you're going to know when it's one and when it's not. What does that mean? That means that it's just about who is wearing it. And actually, even sometimes when the student is not even someone who wears the hijab, they still stop them. It's on the ground when you look at it, because it, it has been a quite a debate for some time now. It was slate in harassment on Muslim, of Muslim students. We are talking about headmasters chasing up students in hallways or, uh, or teacher waiting every, every morning for the Muslim students to control their outfits or even condition their access to the classroom uh, if they don't have shorter outfits, for example, for sport. If your T-shirt is not short enough, uh, it's actually a professor that said that if it's not short enough, if I cannot see the downside, you are not, you are refused, you cannot enter. How does this all tie into the uh, ban of the headscarf? Uh, excuse me, can you repeat? How does all this tie in with the ban of the headscarf? Yeah, um, so for those who don't know, in 2024, there was a rule uh, that was stated that uh, students cannot show any um, religious sign in schools, primary school, middle and high school. Um, to be honest, uh, when they chose this, uh, when they decided to uh, enforce this law, uh, firstly, it was, ultimately, it was towards Muslim and especially veiled uh, hijab uh, as a government. So how is it? linked, I would say it's just a Pandora box that was opened in 2024. When you say, OK, every religious religious sign is uh, not uh, accepted, and then a few years later, it was about bandana. OK, but is bandana hijab or not? And then now it's dresses. But what is it going to be in the future? Is it going to be like, I don't know, earrings? Is, is it going to be, uh, I don't know, what's next? Makeup, underwear? Actually, that was a question that headmaster asked one of the students. What do you have under your abaya? Is it a normal underwear or is it something else? So it shows that it's just, it's not linked in a logical ma manner. It's just a crazy racism and a crazy Islamophobia that just every time find a new thing to look into and to chase. OK, we'll leave it there. Lubna uh, Rugig, speaking to us from Roubaix in France. Thank you. Thank you.